Lay down these words before your mind like rocks, placed solid by hands. In choice of place, set before the body of the mind, in space and time, solidity of bark, leaf, or wall, rip rap of things, cobble of Milky Way, straying planets, these poems, people, lost ponies with dragging saddles and rocky sure foot trails. The worlds like an endless four dimensional game of go, ants and pebbles, in the thin loam, each rock a word, a creek washed stone, granite ingrained with torment of fire and weight, crystal and sediment linked hot, all change in thoughts as well as things. Fur the color of mud, the smooth loper, crapulous old man, a drifter, praises of Coyote the nasty, the fat puppy that abused himself, the ugly gambler, bringer of goodies. In bear shit, find it in August, neat pile on the fragrant trail. In late August, perhaps by a larch tree, bear has been eating the berries, high meadow, late summer snow gone. Black bear eating berries, married to a woman whose breasts bleed from nursing the half-human cubs. Somewhere, of course, there are people collecting and junking, gibbering all day. Where I shoot my arrows, there is sunflower's shade, song of the rattlesnake coiled in the boulder's groin. Cack, 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 sang Coyote, mating with humankind. The chainsaw falls for boards of pine, suburban bedrooms, block on block, will waver with this grain and not. The maddening shapes will start and fade each morning when commuters wake. Joined boards hung on frames, a box to catch the biped in, and shadow swings around the tree, shifting on the berry bush from leaf to leaf across each day. The shadow swings around the tree. Sun breaks over the eucalyptus grove below the wet pasture. Water's about hot. I sit in the open window and roll a smoke. Distant dogs bark, a pair of cawing crows, the twang of a pygmy nuthatch high in a pine. From behind the cypress window, the mare moves up, grazing. A soft Continuous roar comes out of the far valley of the six-lane highway. Thousands and thousands of cars driving men to work. As for the poets, the earth poets who write small poems need help from no man. The air poets play out the swiftest gales and sometimes loll in the eddies. Poem after poem, curling back on the same thrust. At fifty below, fuel oil won't flow, and propane stays in the tank. Fire poets burn at absolute zero, fossil love pumped back up. The first water poet stayed down six years. He was covered with seaweed. The life in his poem left millions of tiny different tracks crisscrossing through the mud. With the sun and moon in his belly, the space poet sleeps, no end to the sky, but his poems, like wild geese, fly off the edge. A mind poet stays in the house. The house is empty, and it has no walls. The poem is seen from all sides, everywhere, at once. There are those who love to get dirty and fix things, they drink coffee at dawn, beer after work. And those who stay clean just appreciate things. At breakfast they have milk and juice at night. There are those who do both. They drink tea. <laughs>